The electrical and cable lines in downtown Eaton Rapids could soon be placed underground. Councilwoman Pam Colstock says the council has been discussing the project for the last couple of years. We know that there are some other municipalities in the state that have their own electrical utility like Eaton Rapids that has done this to either all of their downtown or maybe they've only converted partial um, utility to, to the underground. So we want to take a look at that. The council brought the topic back up because over the next five years, there will be street repaving projects in downtown. And if the plan were to pass, it would be a good idea to do it at the same time. Having electrical and power lines underground would beautify the downtown, Colstock says, but the biggest benefit is reliability. Your lines are no longer going to be affected or impacted by weather events like wind and ice, but you're also not going to have any kind of catastrophic catastrophic events, uh, you know, like damage to power poles that would take out power. There are some drawbacks, though. Colstock says repairs would take a little longer, and the equipment that feeds power to the underground line takes up a lot of pavement space. You're looking at, you know, possibly taking up some sidewalk space, some parking lot space, and that's something that we really are not sure. You know, you get rid of one um, element with the power poles and all the lines and wires, but then you also have a big box that essentially is going to be sitting on pavement, taking up space. Cities that have buried their electrical and cable lines in their downtown areas include Marquette, Traverse City, and South Haven. Last week, the city council was presented with a preliminary proposal from GRP Engineering, which has done this type of project in several municipalities in the state. The preliminary cost for the project came in at about $3.2 million. Colstock says there's not a lot of grant opportunities for projects like this, but that the council will be doing more research to figure out where the money would come from if they decide to go through with the project. Councilman William Steele tells me if passed, the project would be done in six phases, but he says he's undecided and concerned about electricity and water don't mix. And we have had flood here in Eaton Rapids uh, a few years before I was born. But uh, anytime we have a possibility of floods, then that will infiltrate the conduit system. But I'm being assured that it's all uh, protected and sealed. So the possibility of uh, uh, electrical water interference is real minimal. Colstock anticipates this is something the council will be discussing over the next several months. Reporting in your neighborhood of Eaton Rapids, Cali, Montana, Fox 47 News.